Suzuki tries for retro with the SV650X Cafe. Suzuki's venerable SV650 has been on the market for nearly two decades, and has served legions of riders with its neutral handling and solid reliability. While Suzuki proved convincing with a sporty 90-degree V-twin didn't necessarily require an Italian badge, enthusiasts have long petitioned for some performance upgrades. Last year, after 10 years of minor tweaks to the model, Suzuki rolled out a number of big improvements for the old platform. The bike got a 4-horsepower bump, switched from the cast aluminum lattice frame to a steel unit, narrower and lighter, and added an anti-stall feature for ham-fisted clutch artists. For 2018 the SV gets a largely cosmetic makeover in the neo-retro style with a bikini fairing, clip-on handlebars, and a tuck-and-roll seat. On the function side, the whole SV650 range has been granted a preload adjustable front fork. Last year, after 10 years of minor tweaks to the model, Suzuki rolled out a number of big improvements for the old platform. The bike got a 4 horsepower bump, switched from the cast aluminum lattice frame to a steel unit, narrower and lighter, and added an anti-stall feature for ham-fisted clutch artists. For 2018 the SV gets a largely cosmetic makeover in the neo-retro style with a bikini fairing, clip-on handlebars, and a tuck-and-roll seat. On the function side, the whole SV650 range has been granted a preload adjustable front fork. Last year, after 10 years of minor tweaks to the model, Suzuki rolled out a number of big improvements for the old platform. The bike got a 4 horsepower bump switched from the cast aluminum lattice frame to a steel unit, narrower and lighter, and added an anti-stall feature for ham-fisted clutch artists. For 2018 the SV gets a largely cosmetic makeover in the neo-retro style with a bikini fairing, clip-on handlebars, and a tuck-and-roll seat. On the function side, the whole SV650 range has been granted a preload adjustable front fork.